Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. Today we'll have voca our vocabulary lesson number 79 in the series of our vocabulary words of 100. Vocabulary words, day number 79. Let's get going. The very first word we want to learn today is. Outflank. It's a verb. It's a verb. Ever heard of it? It's a verb. So what does it mean to outflank? Out. Outflank. It means to outmaneuver. To out. To outmaneuver, to outsmart, to outsmart, to gain, to gain tactical advantage over something, over, over something or someone. To gain technical advantage is a very nerdy, very geeky way of saying you outsmarted me, you outmaneuvered me. So if two people are engaged in some activity, let's say two merchants or two business people and they're trying to get this contract, they're trying to bid on this thing and you say, well, uh, Michael, Michael got, the, got, got the contract eventually, uh, he, out, uh, he outsmarted me, in other words, he, out, he outmaneuvered me, he was, he, he, was, he, was, he was more clever than I was, which is, why, which, is why he, which is why he got the contract, which is why he won the game, which is why he did this, he outsmarted me, he outmaneuvered me, he outflanked me. Outflank. You understand? Let's go to the next word. The next word we're going to learn is actually an expression to keep, to keep abreast. It's an expression. What does it mean to keep abreast of the things? If someone says, uh, "I would like you to keep abreast of the of this particular uh, of this particular situation," if your boss tells you that, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means to keep. It means to keep. To keep up to date. To keep up to date. To remain. To be. Fully informed. To be fully informed. To have, to have up to up to the minute, to have up to the minute knowledge of all the going ons, all the all the. All the going ons, going on, is hyphenated here, and it's a noun. So if you ask somebody what is going on, well, in that case, it's just a, it's just an idiom. Going on, going on, so when going on, ons with a hyphen. That means what is happening. The events that are taking place. If you keep up to, if you keep up to date knowledge, if you keep, if you keep yourself fully informed of all the events, all the current events that are taking place. If you keep yourself fully informed of all the going going ons you you're keeping abreast you're keeping abreast to keep abreast which means to be fully informed of whatever it is that you're talking about to be fully informed of that event of that particular uh, topic let's move on What does it mean to apprise? A P P R I S E. A prize. You see, it's a long I. A prize. It's a word. Again, what does it mean to apprise? To apprise means to give notice. To give notice. 
to inform to inform for example for example you might say you might say that he was fully apprised he was fully apprised of his rights and responsibilities he was fully apprised he was fully informed he was given he was given a complete notice uh, he was he was given a complete notice he was fully informed he was fully apprised of his rights and responsibilities when he joined the club he should have known this don't tell me he didn't know this rule he should have known this rule he was fully apprised he shouldn't have violated this rule since he violated the rule we're going to have to kick him out of the club he was fully apprised sorry it's his fault he was told everything ahead of time he was fully apprised he paid no attention to it let's move on another expression what does it mean what does it mean to to make a clean breast of something if someone tells you come on you must make a clean breast of it what does it mean to make a clean breast of something when someone tells you to make a clean breast of something they're telling you to come forward come on tell me everything that happened don't hide anything from me don't lie anything to me don't lie any about it just tell me everything that happened just just admit everything that happened make a clean breast of it to come clean to come clean to admit to your own do to to your admit to your wrong doing whatever it is that you did wrong whatever it is that you did wrong you must admit to it make a clean breast of it admit it come clean don't hide anything to, to admit to finally to finally admit to whatever wrong or illegal thing do you thing you did i'm putting it down in a very simple term very colloquial terms so if you finally admit to whatever it is that you did wrong the politician finally she finally made a clean breast of it i didn't mean to say she in that case it could be he also do you understand michael finally made a clean breast of it he finally made a clean breast of all the goings on regarding this particular contract he finally came clean let's move on shall we the next word we have is the next word we have is a very simple word the word is rail of course rail we're not talking about rail as in noun you may have a railing on the stairs that you hold on to when you're going down the stairs or we talk about the rails as in the rail rail, rail tracks for the choo choo train we're not talking about those rails that's noun what does it mean when the word is used as a when the, when the word is used as a verb what does it mean to rail let's find out shall we rail means to criticize to to criticize to criticize someone harshly if you criticize someone harshly you're railing to scold to scold to scold someone to scold someone vehemently to scold someone vehemently let's learn this word shall we vehement v o month vehement 
vehement, vehemently. What does vehement mean? It's an adjective, which means with with a great deal of, with a great deal of force or emotions. He scolded me. He scolded me vehemently. He scolded me vehemently. He scolded me with a great deal of force, with a great deal of emotions, with a great deal of sentiments. He scolded me vehemently. With forceful expression, with forceful expression. With vigor, with vigor, with energy, with energy, with passion, with passion. If you do something with a great deal of passion, with a great deal of energy, with a great deal of enthusiasm, with a great deal of vivacity, you say that I did it, it was done in a vehement manner, it was done vehemently, it was done with a great deal of force. Do you understand? The noun of vehement would be the noun would be vehement. Let me check, make sure I spell it correctly. There you go, vehement. So, let's say for example Let's say, for example, a courtroom drama is taking place. A courtroom drama is taking place, and the prosecutor is asking this whole whole bunch of questions to this uh, accused. And he goes on. The pros the lawyer goes on. The prosecutor goes on. So you went in this room and you saw her there lying there, and you took out your 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 dagger or your pistol or whatever it is and you did this to her and you did this to her then you finally killed her and this and that very emotional very emotional very emotionally charged uh, uh, speech uh, with a great deal of vigor with a great deal of motion there's a lot of drama going on there and he goes on and on for uh, for two three minutes and then at the end do you deny it do you deny it and the guy answers simply the guy answers the accused answers simply in one word do you deny it? He goes vehemently. Vehemently. Or he could say, Yes, I deny it vehemently. I deny it with all the force, all the vigor, all the energy, all the passion that I can muster. I deny it with every fiber of my being. I deny it with every fiber of my being. I deny it vehemently. It absolutely did not happen that way. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. I deny it. I deny it vehemently. Another way he could have answered in one word, another way he could answer in one word is, so the, so the lawyer asked him at the end, after he, after he goes on and on, so you went in the room and you did this to her, and you did that to her, and you finally shot her, do you deny it? And the guy says, emphatically, emphatically, let's learn that word, shall we? Emphatically. I need the room obviously, we're going to have to erase, erase things. Just give me one second, I'm still here. Let's first learn the word emphatic. Enem. Fat. Ik. It has three syllables. M. M. Fat. Ik. Emphatic. It's an adjective. What does it mean? It means to do something. To do something with great deal of vigor, energy, passion. Emotions with a great deal of, with a, with a great 
deal of of what? The word emphatic comes from this word. Emphasis. And of course, of course we know what emphasis means. What does it mean to emphasize something? Well, if you emphasize something, you're putting a particular attention to it, you're putting particular importance to it, you're underscoring it, you're highlighting it, you're, putting, you're making a big fuss about something. You're putting a lot of emphasis on it. From the word emphasis, from the word emphasis, we have emphatic. So if you do with something with a great deal of emphasis, that's saying, that means it was an emphatic effort. It was an emphatic denial. His denial was how did he deny it? Of course he denied it. He denied his denial. His denial was emphatic. He denied it. Of course he denied it. He denied it emphatically. Emphatical, which is the adjective. Uh, emphatically would be the adverb. I deny. Do you deny? The answer, his answer comes back. His answer, his answer comes back in simple one word. After all that long speech by the lawyer, everybody sitting at the edge of their chair, uh, it is the, uh, the climax is there at the end, very end. Uh, the lawyer asks him, do you deny it? And he says, emphatically, vehemently, I deny it completely, totally, utterly. I deny it, as I said, with every fiber of my being. It did not happen that way. I, I give you an emphatic no. Bye now.